How you doing? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be working on our wood burner. With the gaskets on the wood stove are starting to go bad. And the reason I know they're starting to go bad is when I shut the air vents down, it's still burning. So somehow air is getting around my gaskets and allowing it to burn. And I don't want that. I want when I shut my airs down, all my air down, I want this fire to go out. So we're going to be taking the doors off taking them in the shop and changing the gaskets. This is something you have to do periodically on these stones to make sure that they don't burn out of control. Gaskets are important. So my doors are actually pretty easy. All I have to do is open my door and pull it off and we can take the doors to the garage. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get them in the garage. I have two doors to do. I have that door, and then I also have another door on the ash pit that has a gasket on it. So we'll be taking it out and putting a gasket on it too. So we're going to change all these gaskets out. Let's get to it. Okay, we have our doors here in the garage. And, you know, you can inspect your gaskets. They're, this one here is actually pretty bad on this end and this is where it closes. I can see that it's very smashed really good right here. Now this one also has a gasket around that glass. I'm not going to be messing with that because I don't have that gasket uh, here to replace. So basically what you're going to do is, now I put these gaskets on here years ago. It's been a while. Find the end where you left off and go ahead and pick at it with your pick and pull your gasket out. Now a lot of people will glue these in real tight and, and they really don't have to be glued at all. If you can, if you don't have to, you don't want to. Because sometimes it'll be a little harder getting them out when you glue them all in. Mine kind of stays in there. I have a really deep slot in there and uh, it stays in there pretty good. But we will be cleaning the slot out and we're just going to use a small wire brush and we'll go down through here and we're going to clean out this really good around the outside of this. And if you have cement in there, so when you get your kits, uh, you'll have some cement in there that you can use to glue these in. As you can see, I don't believe I use any glue on this at all. Uh, if your groove is not that deep, you'll need that cement. But mine, I didn't need it. So we're going to get this all cleaned out and then we're going to replace both of these gaskets because we don't want our we don't want any air to leak around this door when we're burning it because the more air leaks around there the less control we have over our fire okay i got a wire brush one of them pipe cleaners and it fits right down in there we're going to wire brush around this one here and clean it up real well that way we can get ready to put our gasket in you know, the, the biggest way you could tell whether your gaskets are going bad is when you can't control your fire. When you turn it down and the fire doesn't go out, then you're probably leaking some air somewhere along the line. Now we'll just take the air hose and we'll blow all this dust out of here. Clean any debris out of there. So this door here should be good to go. So we're going to switch it out and get the other one up here. Find where we left off. And you know, it looks to me like I started right where the hinge was. I was thinking maybe that would have the most pressure. Uh, and you can see this one has no glue on it either. So like I said, they don't have to have glue on them. You don't have to use that cement. We'll take the pipe cleaner. This one here looks really clean actually. There's not really much of anything in there. But we're just going to go over it anyhow. Nice and clean there. So, that's good. Now we're going to go ahead and get one of our kits opened up and we're going to start on that big one first and then we'll go work our way down to this small one. We'll see how much uh, of the gasket we have left to do the small one. 
We might be able to get them both with one kit, but I'm not sure on that. So what you're going to need for sure is a good sharp razor blade knife so you can cut your gasket to length. We'll go ahead and cut our box open here. It's a 3 8 gasket and it's about 6 feet long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over where the hinge is. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay it in here. Now I'm not going to stretch this or I'm not going to do anything to it besides just stick it down in there and uh, press it into place. Now if we pull it, we're going to make it thin. We don't want it thin. We're just going to put it down in there and push it into place. And like I said, my gasket is so tight in there that it doesn't really need the uh, cement. So depending on how deep your channel is, you might need that cement. So we're definitely going to need the other kit for that door there. And uh, this one here is just going to do this one. And we're going to cut it off right where we left off over there. And then we'll have this door will be done. Okay, that looks pretty daggone good. Couple little frayed ends, it's not gonna hurt anything. If this so door's this done, we're gonna go ahead and go put this one back on because we don't want that glass to get broken, then we'll take care of this one here. Now this is the door I always worry about because I don't want to break it. We really like having the glass door on there. So we gotta get it on here. Alright, so our door's on there. Now it's gonna be a little tight when you go to close it, but you'll see that it's going to really be airtight around that door now. And the more you work it, the more it will get settled in and get its groove. So we're going to get out there and get the other one, get the gasket on it. I always worry about this one because it has the glass in it. I don't want anything to happen to that glass. We're going to go ahead and get this one in. And I always start in the middle of this side where the hinge is. This is the tightest side to put them together. I start there. I don't I don't pull the core, I don't pull the gasket. I just place the gasket in there and press it down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this one on the stove and we should be able to control that fire really good now. Okay, let's get our last door on. So now we should be able to control the temperature a lot better. Boy, them doors fit so tight when you got your new gaskets on there. And that's a good thing. So in the morning, we'll come out here and start us a fire. And I'll bring you guys along and we'll see how we can control the fire when we have no air leaks. All right, now I'm going to show you why you want new gaskets on your wood stove. As you can see, my stove is burning pretty good right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut all the air off to my stove. And once I shut my air off, this fire should go out. And as you can see, the flame went down and the fire is starting to go out. So that's your main reason why you want new gaskets on your door because you don't want any air getting to that fire so you can shut that thing down and put the fire out so now if i just open up the air drafts again if i open these air drafts you can see that the fire takes off and you can tell that those gaskets are working really good all right we're going to leave a link in the description down below if you guys need some gaskets check out our amazon storefront uh, we got some good gaskets in there and uh, it's definitely good to have these on your stove uh, to be able to control that air. So I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down or comment if you'd like. Till next time.